Hi lovelies, it's Mel here and I'm going to do a quick haul video. I am basically showing you guys things I purchased in the previous days um, when I was in Hong Kong, Singapore and now I'm in Bangkok. I'm currently staying at the Grand Millennium Hotel at the moment and oh my god the room is amazing. I feel like a queen here. Um, you walk into through the room and you see the bathroom straight away. It's a clear windows and I'll show you a video of what it looks like in my vlog because I've done a few vlogs and I'm going to put it all together. But anyways, I hope the lighting's okay. I tried to find a good place to film, but it's really hard for me because I don't have um, a, a huge tripod with me. I mean, I'm not going to carry a huge tripod in my luggage, especially when I'm on holidays, so I had to use the mini one. So, I'm going to show you what I bought. I can't really remember how much these things were, but everything was dead set cheap compared to Australian dollars. And, um, oh my god, I was so excited when I saw Sephora. This is Sephora here in Bangkok and um, in Singapore. Um, in Bangkok, it's in the Siam Center and it's right in front of MAC. And there was Sasa in Hong Kong. I was so excited to see Sasa because like, skincare is really cheap there. I really have no idea where to start, so maybe I'm just going to pull out some things that I purchased from H&M. I went to H&M and I got this, um, these jeans here and it's skinny leg jeans as well they are a size 4 US 4 um, it fits really nicely but it's kind of baggy around the butt area and I don't like it like that I like my jeans tight around the butt area so I might just give it to my sister because I think that was like $30 as well and then from H&M I also got these I don't know what you call it but it's not leggings because they're not tight they, they're very loose and it's in leopard print the material is very very thin as well so when you wear this it feels like you're wearing nothing I love it so much and I can't, I can't believe like they're on sale I think I only got it for like $5 Australian money so that's that I got the Naked 3 palette from the Sephora in Singapore So inside it you get this little sample sized um, eye primers, you got four eye primers and it, this is what the palette looks like. It's gorgeous. How amazing are the colours? I'm, I'm actually wearing the colours now. I've used a few, I've used that one, used these two, that one and that one, these two together. I've actually been using it ever since I got it and I'm pretty impressed with the palette. I like it more than like the number one and two palettes. And I think they were at least $83 or something like that, Australian dollars. I can't remember, but yeah, quite expensive. And then I got from Sasa this um, Off With Those Heads um, blackhead gel. So apparently this is supposed to get rid of your blackheads and your whiteheads. And it's like a serum that you put on. It was um, $40 Australian money. And then from Sasa I got the EOS lip balm. I finally have one of these and I actually like it. It does really moisturize the lips really well so I think it's worth the money. And from Sasa I also got this eye makeup lip um, eye and lip makeup remover sorry and it's so so good. It was like 10 bucks. It melts the makeup right off. It's amazing. And then I got a few um, eye masks and face masks so they were like literally $1 each. Um, I've got like three I actually purchased four of these, but I used two up. These are the aloe vera face masks. My skin hasn't been doing too well here in like Hong Kong and Singapore, so um, I needed the masks to, um, you know, purify my face because my skin's just been really bad lately and breaking out in the countries. And Singapore was like humid, and Hong Kong was freezing cold. And it just really didn't do any good to my skin. Like it just made my skin dry out really badly. And I just broke out in this area here. It's just so bad. Also, I purchased like two packets of the um, the nose strips you put on your nose to get rid of blackheads. And there's four in here. It was for 22 Hong Kong dollars. I also went and bought a Dolly Wink eyebrow pencil, which is in my makeup bag. So I don't have it here to show you guys, but it's alright, it's not that great. It was like ten ten dollars. Sixty-five Hong Kong dollars is ten dollars in Australian dollars. Um 
I'm not really not really like fond of it but it's good eyebrow pencil but I think Rimmel sells better eyebrow pencils okay so um from Sephora I got this um, Sephora 8 wear mattifying compact foundation powder it's in the color 34 caramel toffee and I am an NC40 if you're wondering so this really suited my skin tone and that's why I got it it comes in the mirror and um, there's a sponge there and that's what it looks like it suits my skin um, it's not too dark, not too light, it's a perfect shade the good thing I like about this compact is that it's magnetic so it shuts itself the next thing I got was a home BB cream made in Italy, it's $198 Hong Kong dollars, so I think it's like $40 or something like that in Australian. I can't remember, don't quote me on that. But yeah, it's um the darkest colour that they had there in Sasa and it's only got an SPF of 15. And I use it under my um under my Okay, so I what I do with this is I moisturize and I pop this on and I use it as a sunscreen and then I apply my primer and foundation on some of the products all the way in my luggage which is on the other side of the hotel room. So I'm too lazy to go get it. That's what it looks like. I'm going to show you the colour. So that's what it looks like. Apparently this is the darkest BB cream that they had in Sasa. So it blends right into my skin. You can barely see it there but there's not a lot of coverage at all. So the next random thing I'm picking up is underwear. I got this from H&M and it's the cutest thing ever. It's just a g-string. I love my g-strings. This is like $5.00 something like that and from Sasa I got these eyelashes these are actually quite nice so I'm going to give them all to my mum because she uses eyelashes as well and I got more eyelashes and then I got this mascara for my sister and it's by the brand Majolica it's $138 so I think $138 Hong Kong dollars I think I can't remember I think I got it in Hong Kong yeah um, $138 so I can't remember if it's like $10-$15 not too certain but like it's one of those mascaras that have those little fibers in it so when you apply it on your lashes it extends it so I, I mean I hope she likes it and I just realized that Majolica is made in Japan and it's also a part of Shiseido so that's interesting and then from H&M I got this um, little flower like headpiece I'm gonna wear this to the full moon party which I'm going to the next thing I got from H&M is this other headpiece yeah. and I got another EOS um, lip balm I was supposed to give it to my sister but she didn't want it and also from Sasa they gave me like a few um, perfume samples as well and th this perfume in particular smells so nice I have no idea how to pronounce it or even where to get it from but it's an amazing perfume I also got this from Sasa and I can't remember how much it was but it's perfume by DKNY and it's for my sister so her birthday is actually tomorrow and she's turning 23, she's one year younger than me so I got her this as a birthday present it's a gift set so inside I've, got, I've actually got a few things in there already but um, I just need to like cut up some space in the luggage because like I don't have a lot of space in there so I had I had to shove everything in the one box, but um, yeah, she doesn't want the eyelashes, so they're going to my mum. That's what the eyelashes look like from Sasa. It's 89 Hong Kong dollars. Oh, and then from H&M, I got this neck, um, this uh, earring from for like 49.90 Hong Kong dollars as well for my mum, and they look so so nice. There we go. Oh my god, aren't these earrings beautiful? So in this box you've got the um, limited edition DKNY Be Delicious perfume. It's the fresh blossom one and then the um, the lotion and then I've also got this lipstick from H&M for my sister. Also for my sister I got a Chanel lipstick. Open up the box, the bag, I'll show you guys what it looks like. So. This is the Rouge Allure um, lipstick in the color 82, I believe. Oh, 89. The lipstick. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm going to get one for myself later, but this is for my sister because it's her birthday, obviously. 
focus, bitch. Yep, I need to go get a MAC foundation and lipstick for her as well because she's been asking me for MAC stuff and she's a MAC lover, so... Actually, my boyfriend got me this. This is a Playboy necklace from... I think, I, I think it's from the Paragon Center... Paragon Department. I don't know. Like, I... I'm really bad at explaining where I got things because like I, I get lost easily and I don't know my directions. I have a really bad sense of directions. So I think this is from the Paragon store. Paragon is like a department store in, in Bangkok. It's like Maya and David Jones sort of thing. How gorgeous is this necklace? Beautiful. So I went to MAC. I went to MAC and I got a, another Pro Longwear foundation. This time in my actual shade because um, when I went to MAC the last time I got an NC42 and the makeup artist actually recommended me NC42 so I went home excited to try it, put it on went out with it the whole day and realized it's a shade too dark for me so I got NC40 which is my actual shade actually I'll, sh I'll just take the bottle out to show you what it looks like I actually like how it comes with a pump and it is quite long wearing it's one of my favorite foundations now I'm not actually wearing it now, I'm wearing my Lancome Tint Adore Ultra, which is my other favourite foundation. I have quite a few favourites, and I do put them on here and there when I want to, depends on what I feel like wearing. There's not one certain brand that I like, that, that I like more than all the others. Yeah, I went to Sephora, and I also got this as well. I think it was like 400 baht, so you've got like a hand cream, shower gel, and a scrub there. Okay, so the next thing I got was um, Beats by Dr. Dre. My boyfriend actually got these for me. And um, they came in the white, red, and dark blue. I didn't like the two colors as much, so I got the white one. I would show you guys what it looks like, but I mean, you guys should already know what Dr. Dre Beats headphones look like anyway. Um, it's a small one, not the big one. The next thing I got was the man shirt. My boyfriend got it for me. Ah! How cool is that? I've always wanted one. I actually went on eBay before and tried to look for one, but like they look really crappy. So I'm glad I got like an original Superman shirt. So then the next thing I got was this is really funny and really random, but I got some snacks in Bangkok in 7-Eleven, and it's just shrimp chips, which I love. Coca Cola. There's so much advertisement here for this drink, it's not funny. It's everywhere, it's in the train station, it's in the shopping centre. Everyone loves Coke here or something. Or well, maybe it's just paid advertisement here. But um, I came to Thailand when I was like 8, 9 years old. And when I came here I used to eat these chips every day. I'm not kidding you, when I'm, in the, when I'm in the car, when I'm in my grandpa's house, and when I'm walking around in the markets, this is all I ever ate. This is the barbecue chips that you can only buy in Thailand. That's the end of my haul. I don't really have much to show you guys. That's pretty much it. Didn't really buy much. Actually, it is quite a lot still. But yeah, not a lot as in like makeup and stuff in general. 